the Xiaomi 13T has three cameras, including a dedicated telephoto, and it performs well. But can Gcam deliver better photos and videos? Let's find out in the Xiaomi 13T camera test. The free Google Camera Port, or Gcam, I'm using for this comparison is from developer BSG, and there's a link to download this port in the video description. Let's compare a variety of images, including selfies and night mode shots, with both the pre-installed stock Xiaomi camera app and Gcam, then discuss a few notes about using both apps on the 13T. To start, here's a chapel, and both camera apps perform well, but I definitely prefer Gcam. It delivers an overall darker image, but the contrast and saturation really make the stock app look washed out and comparison. This is the only shot from the ultra wide that I'll include. Its quality is way behind the other two cameras. If you do need to use it though, you'll need to stick with Gcam. Stock can't control the highlights and it over sharpens the grass down here. That's gross. This rainbow umbrella shot is a tie. The color representation is a bit closer to reality from the stock cam, but I still like how punchy Gcam looks, even if it turns this beige rug a little pink. Yeah, I'm torn on the sunset building exterior as well. Stock is a little too green, Gcam just a hair too too red. You know what? I think Gcam does win, since the colors are better separated, like here, between the green shrubbery and the dirt. I don't like bugs. In fact, I'm not even sure how this got in my house. But it gives us a lot of color and detail to compare, and Gcam wins again. It's just pulling more information out of these images. In terms of color and contrast, stock does win for fine detail though, producing even this paper texture nicely. For this close-up marker shot, stock camera gives us a flatter image again, and Gcam is just very pleasing and vibrant. The natural depth the field effect looks quite nice on both though. Speaking of depth of field, here's a close up wispy plant thing, and I really like this golden warmth from Gcam. A little more challenging scene with the chandelier. Gcam throws off the actual color too much on this one. Stock, as usual, is less punchy, but much more realistic. Gcam just went too far with this wood ceiling, which was not even close to this magenta shade. Back outside with another building, and I prefer Gcam again. It just makes everything pop so nicely here. Stock does a good job with the grass this time though. For this playground image. In my opinion, Gcam goes too far again, especially with this blue and red plastic. It just looks too dark and too punchy overall. Before I get to selfies, video, and night mode shots, if you're finding this comparison helpful so far, please give it a like and thank you. Selfies from the main rear camera look much better from Gcam. Same typical issues with bland colors from the stock camera, much more lifelike from Gcam. Portrait mode and no strange edge detection issues with either app, but color again gives Gcam the win. The front-facing selfie camera is a letdown. Honestly, Gcam is far from perfect, but like with the ultra wide, it does make the selfie camera more usable. The blurry smoothing the stock app is applying to me is a little flattering, but combined with this rough color makes it a pretty terrible shot. I don't understand what Gcam did here. This is portrait mode from the selfie camera, and Gcam figured it would just go wild and add a vignette and just kind of overproduce the shot like crazy. For night shots, both do pretty well. In fact, the only reason I prefer Gcam for this fire hydrant shot is the warmer colors. The car scene is a miss for the 13T stock cam. It does have better detail and is significantly brighter than Gcam, but you get noise in the sky and strangely over sharpened grass that really ruins the image for me. However, if you were cropping in on just the cars, stock cam would easily win. A barely lit rainbow umbrella shot, and I like that Gcam is bringing brighter colors here, but stock doesn't do a bad job at all. A selfie from the main rear camera, and I could go either way. Stock is punchy and brighter this time, but Gcam looks more natural with a little more detail. Again, the actual selfie camera disappoints. Gcam gets super noisy, but relatively sharp. Stock isn't noisy, but it is a dark smudgy mess. 4K video from the main rear camera is just fine from either app. Generally, Gcam fails here due to stabilization problems, but I can't complain about that this time. Selfie video is a different story. The selfie camera performs much better from the stock app in terms of color and exposure. Both are limited to 1080p though. All right, here's the Xiaomi 13T stock camera. All right, here's the Xiaomi 13T with Gcam. Just a few things to note about these apps. First of all, the stock Xiaomi camera app makes you choose between Leica Vibrant and Leica Authentic. I shot all the previous photos for this test using the Vibrant setting. Authentic looks fine and more natural, but if you want an image that needs less editing to look brighter and more colorful, go with Vibrant. In terms of using the ultra wide and two times telephoto, they can both produce decent images, but the ultra wide is certainly the weakest of the three. It is really nice to have a usable 50 megapixel telephoto, even if it's only 2x. Also, to get these super punchy results from Gcam, you need to shoot an HDR Plus Enhanced, which does introduce a fair amount of lag. So, for grabbing important quick shots, just use the stock camera app. Oh, and I didn't use a config file with this port. Basically, if you want more room to edit the photos and post, 
go with the stock app. If you want something you don't have to edit much, but has a very punchy look, go with Gcam. And if you think the Xiaomi 13T is the right phone for you, you should check out Wireless Place, since they have Xiaomi devices, as well as phones from Google, OnePlus, Samsung, and more. I've bought a few phones from Wireless Place, and they always ship fast and internationally, have great prices, and offer brands you can't get in carrier stores. Please use my discount code, PHONECOMP10, all caps, when you check out. If you want to support the channel, or just want to save a little money, a link to the site is in the description. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment with any questions you have, and I will answer it perfectly. Just don't ask me to explain Ghostbusters. They cross the streams.